Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. If you've been following this channel long at all, you know that after I dug my potatoes, I planted a late corn crop. July the 20th. I was betting on a late fall. Not so. Turns out it's not gonna be a late fall at all. It's gonna be extra early. Supposed to come a hard frost tonight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make an emergency effort to save this corn. We've got ourselves a wood chipper. Never done this, never seen this done. May not work, we're just gonna try it. We're gonna go over and make a test run real quick and cut some of that corn and bring it over and try to put it through and see what happens. If it'll grind it like silage, we're gonna get the trailer and we're gonna go and we're gonna hit it hard and try to do the whole field. Now they have not said we've had a frost yet, but according to the way that corn looks over there, it's already been frosted lightly once. So we gotta get it. And so let's go over there and start cutting some and bring it over here to do a test run, see what happens. Corn has made ears and the corn is on there. It's just not in the late dough stage to where I feel comfortable with it being frosted heavy. So let's just see what we can do here. <laughs> he can't get his sword out of a sheath. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be our test run. Let's go to the house and see how it goes. is at this time complete. I cannot believe how well it worked. I'm pretty excited, but that field is big. We've got a big job ahead of us. We need to hit it. Let's go, boys.
got this whole strip down through here done. Probably, let's say, three, six, nine, maybe 10 rows. Made a pretty good load. Now this right here end of the field is a little muddy and I need to try to get through there. Let's see if I can get on out of here. back to the wood chipper with a nice big load we lack at least two more loads just like this there'll be each load will be a little bigger if we take the same amount of rows we lack 21 rows best i can count so we've got to crank this thing up and get with it We can tell we're not going to get done today unless we double team this job. So the boys went and chopped with the four wheeler while I just kept feeding this baby. We ain't took lunch break or nothing. We ate, but we had this thing running constantly. I know what you're thinking when you see that little boy putting that in that shredder you're thinking bad dad should never let a young kid like that work on a shredder that's because you're thinking how your kids would act if you let them use these kids of mine are raised with very dangerous things around them all the time we're out here on a farm this ain't no child proof environment they learn from a young age to obey their dad and they do. And on top of that, I'm right with him the entire time. When we got done, they were here. Keep it rolling, boys! I've never done this before. This is the first time silage has been made on this property to my knowledge, but I am not going into it completely blind. My good friend and renowned farmer, 
renowned farmer, Pete Gunther, is the man that put me on this style of silage making, not by no means the shredder, no. I'm talking about packing it with a tractor. He taught me how to pack it with a tractor. He said, you don't have to cover it. You just pack it with a tractor and it you won't lose, but maybe three or four inches. And when you feed it out, that just kind of goes with it. And and you don't lose hardly anything that way. So I'm, I'm trying that out. I am packing it with the tractor over and over and over again, trying to make it as packed as possible and we're gonna see how this goes now you real farmers are laughing and I and that's fine and, and Pete Gunther's laughing I'm not a real farmer I'm a make do farmer and at this point we got to make do I know this ain't the normal way to make silage, but just a question, do you think I would even put it on my channel if it was normal? People have been saying for a long time, McGee, you just ain't normal. Good work, boys. Keep it a rolling. Well, the shadows are starting to lengthen a little bit here. The boys are still out wide open trying to get that corn in. We're still just grinding and packing away here. If any of you farmers have ever heard of making silage in the early dough stage, let me know. When I was in school, I took agriculture and according to the agriculture studies I did, it said that silage should be made in the late dough stage. But I don't have a choice because I'm fixing to be in the late frost stage. So it's either make it or break it. So we are gonna try it out and see how it goes but if you know the answer drop down in the comments and fill me in i'd love to know what you think what are you eating boy corn, corn silk oh that corn silk is supposed to be real good for you do you like it kind of sweet. sweet after a hard day's work people pay big money for corn silk Evidently, it's pretty good for you. Do you like it pretty good? Here comes the boys. Them boys are wide open now. Good boys they are. We're fixing to get with it again. They're telling me they like about 10 trips being done. I don't know if we'll get done all the way tonight, but we've got the majority of it. Keep trucking, boys. Hey, Russ. 
Misty, what's going on, old buddy? You gonna come see me? Oh, he's a good one. Oh, he's a good one. see it is getting dark i'll see you in the morning all right folks it is the next morning and when i come out here this morning i am shocked at what i see frost all over this pile of silage unbelievable i really felt like that the silage would build up some heat it was so green that when we packed it down i figured it would build up heat and that there would be no frost on that part but i figured frost being on the other places the frost is on the pile of silage. I, I don't understand how that works, but <laughs> there we go. So at this point, I'm very thankful that we got with it and got that done. Sometimes it pays off to buckle down and get it done. <laughs> Just about everything I've ever done in my life that paid off consisted of very hard work, including YouTube, by the way. And so that being said, work doesn't bother me I did sleep good last night, I'll be honest with you. Slip the best I have in a while. But when you buckle down and you hit it hard and then you look back on it later and see what a success it was, then that just really, it feels good and it pays off. And this is gonna make feed for my cows for a long time. We are excited about that. But anyway, folks, that's gonna wrap up this video. We appreciate you so much. If you aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. But that's all we've got for today, folks. So. We're going to get out of here. We'll see you on the next video.